A new year brings with it new content. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 anticipated shows of 2019. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at the most highly anticipated television series scheduled for release in 2019, including both new seasons of popular shows and the debuts of entirely new series. Number 10. The Twilight Zone This admittedly isn't the first time that The Twilight Zone has been rebooted. In fact, this 2019 iteration will actually be its third television revival, and considering that neither of the past two attempts could compete with the quality of the original 1959 series, you might be asking, how is this exciting? Well, we've got two words for you, Jordan Peele. The comedic actor-turned-filmmaker established himself as one of the most essential new voices of horror with 2017's Get Out. <laughs> Serving as this reboot's presenter and executive producer, Peel is sure to bring a unique and inspired voice to the franchise, infusing the anthology series with funny, emotionally resonant, and timely social commentary. Number 9. Good Omens The weird and wonderful works of acclaimed author and comic book writer Neil Gaiman are admittedly tough to adapt. His magnum opus Sandman has been in and out of development hell since the 90s. Thankfully, with the success of the hyper-stylish American Gods, it's been proven that even Gaiman's weirdest offerings can work with the right budget and creative team. That's a good thing, because his collaboration with the similarly unconventional Terry Pratchett, Good Omens is not an easy story to retell. It won't be the war to end all wars. From the looks of the series trailer, however, they've absolutely nailed it. David Tennant and Michael Sheen are truly inspired choices for the roles of Crowley the Demon and Aziraphale the Angel. Number 8. What We Do in the Shadows With the success of Thor Ragnarok, Taika Waititi has arrived in Hollywood big time. As fans will be quick to point out though, the masses are late to recognize his talent. Waititi's feature films Boy and Hunt for the Wilder People were both excellent. In 2014, he teamed up with fellow New Zealander Jermaine Clement of Flight of the Concords fame for the critically acclaimed horror comedy mockumentary What We Do in the Shadows, about vampire roommates, which the duo co-directed and starred in. We were worried at first, you know, we thought, oh, they're just going to urinate on everything. But uh, they're actually really polite and pretty clean. There was obviously that werewolf smell which permeated the entire house for the first half an hour, but we opened some windows and got rid of that. Now, FX is adapting it for American television. The premise certainly lends itself to a serialized format and thankfully has YTT and Clement involved as executive producers. We love to chase each other around the house. <laughs> Number 7. Big Little Lies Season 2 Originally a mini-series, HBO's adaptation of Leanne Moriarty's novel, Big Little Lies, was met with rave critical reviews. Series creator David E. Kelly must have known he had crafted something great, as the finale included a scene hinting at a possible continuation to the story. We have to talk about no. it. No! In December 2017, after the show's numerous award nominations, a season two became official. Though you might fear that a second season risks tarnishing the sterling reputation of the initial series, and while the direction of Jean-Marc Vallée will sorely be missed, Andrea Arnold is a great replacement and we have faith in David E. Kelly's vision. Also, the inclusion of Meryl Streep, that inspires confidence. Number 6. Mindhunter Season 2 The problem with being among the first wave of fans to discover a show is the interminable wait for a second season. This is especially painful with a Netflix original series because you binge all the episodes in no time rather than savoring them. I'm just an extremely accomplished murderer who spent my adult life successfully evading capture. Such was the case for many people with David Fincher and Joe Penhall's brilliant 70s crime drama Mindhunter. Featuring a number of inspired performances and delving deep into the minds of serial killers, this series has so much left to offer. We can't wait to see exactly what it has in store for us in Season 2. Number 5. True Detective Season 3 Speaking of crime dramas that have kept us waiting, how about this anthology series? After a captivating must-watch first season starring Woody Harrelson and Matthew McConaughey, True Detective disappointed fans and critics with its notably lackluster Season 2. 
After a few years off, series creator and writer Nick Pizzolatto returns to bat for a third time, and people are hoping this third season will redeem the anthology series, finally washing the bad taste of season two from our mouths. With Academy Award winner Mahershala Ali in the leading role as Detective Wayne Hayes, and based on what we've seen so far, there's plenty of cause to hope for the best. Number 4. Watchmen When you're talking about arguably the most celebrated and revered graphic novel ever published, adaptation efforts are always going to be tricky. Much like Zack Snyder's 2009 film divided critics and fans alike, this 2019 HBO series is sure to inspire much debate, especially since Damon Lindelof is apparently taking the source material in bold new directions. Rather than adapt the graphic novel directly, the Watchmen series apparently explores a new story in the world of Watchmen, involving both characters we know well and new ones, like Tim Blake Nelson's Looking Glass. Only time will tell how it's received, but with Lindelof leading this high-profile project, it's sure to be interesting. Number 3. The Witcher The video game curse. It's real and it's infuriating. Where films have failed, however, there is reason to believe that a TV series could succeed, with the right video game franchise. Might The Witcher be just that property? It's worth noting that The Witcher was a book series first, and that in Poland it's already been adapted into a poorly received film, and mediocre series under the title The Hexer. To be fair though, those productions were very modest. In 2019, we'll get to see Geralt of Rivia like never before in a big-budget Netflix production. With Henry Cavill playing the titular character, this Witcher might finally take video game adaptations to great heights. Number 2. Stranger Things Season 3 We might be living in the golden age of big-budget cinematic television, but modern viewers still have a nostalgic streak a mile wide. Thankfully, Netflix and the Duffer Brothers have created the perfect series for all those who long for the simple pleasures and delightful quirks of the 1980s. Susan Cartelman. In 2019, the cultural phenomenon that is Stranger Things returns for a third season of old school scares and childhood adventures with Eleven, Mike, and the gang. And clear path to the gate. Yeah, and then we all die. Well, that's one point of view. All parties involved have kept mum about plot details, but given how the Mind Flayer ominously towered over the upside down version of the school in the season 2 finale, we have a pretty good idea. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. You will not convict the defendant just because he was at the center of all this depravity, but because he was the orchestrator of it. Did your journey give you insight on how to win the war? No longer certain that one ever does win a war. I am. Number 1. Game of Thrones Season 8 What a mixed bag of emotions. On the one hand, we're desperate to finally get more Game of Thrones, especially after having been made to wait twice as long as usual for the eighth season to arrive. On the other hand, it's excruciating to think that this is the end of the astonishing adventure we've been on since 2011. I will always be a threat, so put an end to me. What will we sit around theorizing about? These are questions for future versions of ourselves to think about. <laughs> For the time being, we're just excited to see how things turn out, now that winter and war have truly come to the Seven Kingdoms. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.